up y'all welcome back to my channel and today we have a highly highly requested video i have kept my hair in this silky press this silky silky press since november 9th and a couple people have been asking me how i keep it this way and a lot of people have also been asking me how i got my hair to this length so I got my hair straightened on November 9th by a hairstylist in the New Orleans area. I'll have all of her information linked down below. And it was a super great experience. Uh, I was in and out and she blow dried my hair and also trimmed it. Uh, when I saw my hair, I had no idea that it was that length. Here's a picture. I think I'm going to put it right here. And I just, I was in shock and she didn't really understand why I was like so shook. But when I showed her a picture of what my hair used to look like, she was like, oh, okay. And so, yeah, it was a really good experience. But um, how I keep my hair straight, um, this is the longest that I've kept it uh, this in this state. Um, so basically, I in the beginning, I would wrap it. It was extremely hard to wrap. I've never been good at it, but... I tried my best and that was for like the first week and a half and then for the rest of it I would use flexi rods and so like for the rest of it I would just make sure that if it was in a bun or if, it, if I had it in the ponytails I would put in a bonnet or I would make sure that I had like some type of silk pillowcase on just to keep it protected and that's also kind of uh, something that I use to keep my hair at the length that it is now so yeah so with keeping it silky straight, um, I did have to um, put it up in like a scarf sometimes because it would get warm or it would be raining and I would do not suggest wearing your hair out when it's straight, like when it's super humid or if it's going to be like a torrential downpour, like put your hair up in some type of protective styling so that you can make sure that the silk press lasts long. And I really wore it out um, like when it was straight, only when it was cold. Uh, we had an event during homecoming where it gets really warm in the um, on the boat that we were on and uh, I was just trying to make sure to like move away from the crowd when it got too hot and I didn't have my hair like all the way out I kept it in um, a side ponytail and I would just keep checking it just to make sure it wouldn't get frizzy so like my hair was still pretty straight after uh, we left the boat but other people not so much um, I think I didn't do any touch-ups with it like with the flat iron or anything I did use just a little bit of a curling iron just to curl like my ends because my hair was so bone straight that I couldn't get it to wrap around the flexi rods so I had to use something to just manipulate it a little bit just to get the flexi rods on and my hair was like just super cute I loved it it's still great I'm going to be washing it later on though so yeah that's how I've kept it straight just making sure that I give it as much attention as it needs and as it deserves um, making sure that I'm moisturizing it constantly. I will use an oil sheen spray um, or a humidity mist and that would just absolutely help to keep it maintained and keep it moisturized. So I was mentioning a little bit earlier and you saw a picture of how my hair looked my freshman year of college. Um, when I got to Xavier, I just decided to just cut off the relaxed ends that I had. It wasn't like a big chop, but it was a substantial amount that I noticed a difference and so did others. So uh, yeah, I cut my hair myself. <laughs> not the best idea. Don't, I would not recommend that at all. But uh, I ended up getting it straightened for my birthday that year. And it was at shoulder length. And now when I got it straightened in November, it was bra strap length. And so that's just, crazy to me i was shook i was like this um i'm a little shook and then people started asking me like yeah how'd you get your hair to go so long oh my gosh like ah like i'm just sitting there like prayers i don't know but i really sat down and thought about it and um it's a combination of things um no it is not changing my diet i suck at drinking enough water every day i try to eat fruits and vegetables as often as possible but my diet sucks that did not have anything to do with my hair at all um i would take vitamins sometimes but not often enough or constantly enough to where it would make a difference within my body 
we we will do better in 2019 to <laughs> have a better healthcare regimen. So um, for the most part though, I would say that protective styling really helped and not necessarily uh, braids or sew-ins because I did both of those things, but my scalp can get really dry and irritated. And so I would take that out like within a couple of weeks. But with protective styling, I would say like twist outs or braid outs and leaving the twist in, leaving the braids in for a couple of days. And now that I've, my hair's gotten a little bit longer, it looks cuter so I'll keep it in for like a week or more sometimes and like but in the beginning it was not like that I looked a mess but I had to do something to make sure that I wasn't manipulating my hair often that's a big deal like if you're gonna have your hair out and in like maybe in a wash and go or maybe that final twist out and things like that you should not be touching your hair every day trying to manipulate the style in the front you will lose your edges your ends will fall off and you will just mess up your hair completely so i would say do a low manipulative style just if it's going to be in a lazy bun make sure that that bun is moisturized if it's going to be in twists for like a while make sure that those twists are spraying water in it just a little bit not too much you're not drenching it but making sure that you're keeping them moisturized um people like to say that oils are the main thing that moisturizes your hair that is not true they just seal in whatever you put on top of it well they just seal in whatever you put on before you put the oil on if that makes sense so you have to get some type of heavy leave-in or some type of heavy cream um Cream of Nature sells them, Shea Moisture, Carol's Daughter, I love all of those products. Sometimes they can be a little overwhelming with trying to figure out what you want to use, but a lot of these beauty places have return policies where you can return these things. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can you could try product swapping with friends that you know are naturals, or just return them back to the store and try something new. Another thing I would say would be, um, I have never colored my hair before. And I know a lot of people go like super drastic with their hair colors, but they don't take care of them. So like whenever you get hair colors, I think that your hair dries out really fast. So uh, with the hair color, if you're not keeping proper care of it, it can like stunt your hair growth. And so I've always been too afraid to try uh, to another hair color because I don't really know how it would look with my natural hair. So I've never tried it. I like my hair color. But if you're someone who wants to change your hair color, absolutely make sure that you are keeping it moisturized. I think that's the key word, moisturization. Another thing that I would say would be to deep condition your hair once a week. Deep condition your hair once a week. Incorporate it into your wash day. Your hair deserves it. It needs, it needs the moisture. <laughs> like your hair has to be you can't just put your conditioner in for like three minutes and then that's that. No, you need to keep it in for 30 or more. I like to keep mine in overnight. It leaves my hair super soft and yeah, I just that's just something that I do. But if you don't have enough time to do that and you just have one wash day, just make sure that you're keeping it in for more than like five minutes in the shower. Lastly, I would say to have a genuine um, love and understanding for your actual hair. I think that when people enjoy doing their hair or they don't necessarily dread wash day, they really take their time and they really want to get to know their hair better and they try new things out. They'll try to do like scalp stimulation. Um, I enjoy that, like just massaging my scalp, you know, making the scalp feel good and maybe, maybe asking your hair to like, it'll just help your hair be like, hey, if you want to come out, whenever you're ready, I'm here. <laughs> like just things like that just to motivate your hair um I feel like hair can be an extension of yourself and so for me my hair I love it and I'm gonna do what I have to do to take care of it and so that includes deep conditions that includes getting it trimmed as often as I should and not doing super huge big chops every other month because that can stunt your hair growth Making sure that I do low manipulative hairstyles like twist outs or if I'm putting it in a bun, making sure that that bun is as moisturized as it can be. Uh, putting my hair in a bonnet, putting it on a silk uh, pillowcase if I don't have my bonnet on. Just keeping my hair um, in its best state. That's really That really has helped with my hair growth and I really plan on continuing this growth process. Um, I have no idea 
where it's gonna take me but i really enjoy like my hair i really do have fun with it trying out um different products or just keeping it in the same twist that i normally keep it in because my twist outs are bomb so those are my tips on how i keep my silk press silky and how i have kept my hair at this length or how i have grown my hair um it's no big secrets there's no big revelation or no uh, pill that can help you to grow your hair you have to have a genuine care and a genuine um, motivation to do your hair so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other questions be sure to follow me on social media or ask me in the comments down below um i'm always open to answering questions i don't know a lot but if i can help in any kind of way i will so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I hope that recorded. It did, yeah boy.